Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of using the monotone convergence theorem to show that a sequence that recursively defined converges. Let's consider the recursively defined sequence. Consider a n plus 1 is equal to 1 third of a n plus 1. And with uh, this is true for n bigger than or equal to 1, with a 1 being equal to, let's just say a 1 is equal to 1. Okay. So let's consider this sequence over here. So the first claim, I want to use the monotone convergence theorem. So I need to show the sequence is bounded, and then the sequence, if it starts at 1, it's bounded, and it's not decreasing or not increasing. So let's check that first. So let's get our sense of what's happening with the sequence. So if we plug in the first couple terms, we're going to see that a2, for example, would be 1 third of what? Of 1 plus 1. So that'll be at 2 thirds. We can see that a3 will be 1 third of 2 thirds plus 1. And so will that give us over here? That's going to give us 5 thirds. So that's going to be 5 ninths over there. So this is going to be 3 over 3. So that's going to be a total of 5 over 3. So that's going to be 5 ninths, right? And so we can see what's happening over here. This series just looks like it's going down over here. So we can just keep plugging this in to see that, right? So here's our first claim. So our claim is that the a n terms are bigger than or equal to 1 half, OK? So that's clearly true. I'm going to prove this by induction. So this is true if n is equal to 1. And now let's suppose it's true. Suppose true. Suppose that a n is bigger than or equal to 1 half. Then a n plus 1 is going to be what? It's going to be 1 third of a n plus 1. But I'm assuming the deduction hypothesis that this is bigger than or equal to a half. So this is bigger than or equal to 1 third and then 1 half plus 1. Now 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, so this is 1 third times 3 halves, and 1 third times, one -third times 3 halves is exactly just equal to 1 half over here. So in other words, this is true by induction. So our sequence is bounded from below. So hence, so our claim is true, our sequence is bounded from below. Okay, now I'd like to show the sequence is non uh, not increasing, so how do we do that? So let's look at the difference of an, so an plus 1 minus an. So if I subtract off an from an minus 1, what we have, we'll have a 1 third an plus 1 third, and then we'll have a minus over here an. So the difference of two sequential terms is going to be negative 2 thirds, and then an, and then uh, what? And then we'll have a um, plus one third over here. And so now what do we see over here? We want to show that this is what? This is less than or equal to zero. So our, our claim over here, so I claim that this is less than or equal to zero. Claim. We claim that negative two over three a n plus one third is less than or equal to zero, right? Which is exactly equivalent to saying what? This is exactly equivalent to saying that one third is bigger than or equal to 2 thirds of a n, the 3 is cancel, divide by 2. And so this statement over here, our claim is equivalent to the a n being bigger than or equal to a half, which we know is true by induction. So this expression is less than or equal to 0 by our claim over here. That's our claim. And so now I have that a n plus 1 minus a n is less than or equal to 0, which says that a n plus 1 is less than or equal to a n. And this is the exact thing that says our sequence is non decreasing. So our sequence a n, so our sequence a n n goes from 1 to infinity, is bounded and not increasing. And so this allows us to use the monotone convergence theorem, the monotone convergence theorem implies that the a n converge to some number l. And so now we can figure out what that l is by this recursion relationship. So the left hand side will converge to l. The right-hand side will converge to 1 third of L plus 1. So this will tell me, by subtraction, that 2 thirds of L is equal to 1 third, and therefore L is equal to 1 half. So our sequence, recursively defined in this way, converges to 1 half using the module convergence theorem. Thank you very much.